One important rotorcraft that has gained a lot of popularity because of its capabilities is the Apache Assault Helicopter, which was first produced by McDonnell Douglas and later integrated into Boeing through a merger in 1997. Since its introduction into service in 1984, it has gained recognition from the United States Army, which has embraced its capabilities and shared its prowess with numerous nations worldwide. These countries include Singapore, Morocco, Japan, Korea, Kuwait, Israel, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, India, Indonesia, Saudi Arabia, Taiwan, Egypt, Greece, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. Boeing's diligent efforts have resulted in the delivery of over 2,500 AH-64 Apaches to the United States military and armed forces around the globe. The United States Army and international forces possess an impressive fleet of over 1,200 Apache aircraft, showcasing the helicopter's widespread acceptance. The exceptional aircraft has an intriguing history. Initially developed by Hughes Helicopters, the AH-64 Apache emerged from the United States Army's Advanced Attack Helicopter Program, aimed at replacing the AH-1 Cobra with a more capable and survivable helicopter. The prototype, the YAH-64, took flight in 1975, and in 1976 it was chosen over its competitor, the Bell YAH-63. The production version, the AH-64A, entered service in 1986. Over time, the AH-64 Apache underwent numerous upgrades and improvements, resulting in the development of various variants. Some of the upgrades are the AH-64D Apache Longbow, which introduced a radar dome and fire-and-forget missiles, and the AH-64E Apache Guardian, a variant that enhances performance and network capabilities. The enduring legacy of the Apache helicopter is evident in its remarkable achievement of accumulating 5 million flight hours and over 1 million hours dedicated to combat operations. Its role in military endeavors became apparent during the United States military's intervention in Panama in 1989. The Apache was developed during Operation Desert Storm, and played a vital supporting role in low-intensity conflicts and peacekeeping missions in Kosovo, Turkey, and Bosnia. The arrival of the Apache AH-64D Longbow in April 1997 represents a momentous breakthrough in the development of helicopters. This advanced aircraft played a vital role in crucial military operations such as Operation Anaconda in Afghanistan, and Operation Iraqi Freedom. Its deployment expanded to include South Korea in 2003. Boeing has successfully upgraded over 500 Apaches to meet the AH-64D standard, improving its fleet. The demand for these helicopters remained high, leading to additional orders for newly developed Apaches. The upgraded Block II Apaches entered service in February 2003 bringing improved digital communication systems that greatly enhanced communication capabilities within the tactical internet. Building on the success, Boeing delivered the first extended Block II Apache to the U.S. Army in October 2007. The United States Army ordered 24 new helicopters in 2006. In January 2007, the Army expanded its arsenal with 96 remanufactured helicopters and ordered 18 helicopters in April of the same year. In 2007, the United Arab Emirates sought to enhance its capabilities by placing an order for 30 AH-64D Apaches. The United States Army, on the other hand, continued to strengthen its fleet by welcoming the first newly constructed AH-64D in June 2007, followed by the arrival of the initial remanufactured Apaches in October of the same year. A significant milestone in the ongoing evolution of the Apache helicopters occurred in December 2009, when it underwent a maiden flight test featuring Block 3 structures. Block 3 enhancements include advanced digitization, improved engines and drive systems, the joint tactical radio system, the ability to control unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and the addition of new composite rotor blades. They were successfully flight tested in May 2004 and offer significant improvements in the Apache's climb rate, payload capacity, and cruise speed. Recognizing the potential of the Block 3 concept, Boeing was awarded the System Development and Demonstration SDD contract for Apache Block 3 in July 2006 and the first flight of the Apache Block 3 took place in July 2008. In October 2010, Boeing was awarded a $247 million contract from the United States Army, 
marking the beginning of low-rate initial production LRIP for the AH-64D Apache Block 3 helicopter. Under the terms of this contract, 51 AH-64D Apache Block 3 helicopters were scheduled for delivery to the United States Army with the first delivery taking place in October 2011. In 2012, the Block 3 variant was designed as AH-64E, highlighting its evolution and advanced capabilities. Interestingly, the Science Engineering Services, SES, has partnered with Boeing to upgrade AH-64D Apaches to AH-64D Apache Block 3. The SES is responsible for dismantling, inspecting and repairing the AH-64D Apaches at their West Aviation and Integration Facility in Huntsville. After undergoing the necessary procedures, the helicopters are transported to Boeing's facilities to be incorporated into the AH-64D Apache Block 3 configuration. In 2016, the US Army entered into a significant contract worth $1.5 billion for the remanufacturing of 117 AH-64D models into AH-64E helicopters. This transformation equipped the helicopters with upgraded avionics and sensors, establishing the Apache AH-64E as one of the world's best multi-role combat helicopters. Demonstrating international cooperation, the United Kingdom signed an intergovernmental contract with the United States in July 2016 for the purchase of 50 Apache AH-64Es. The British Army received the two Apache helicopters in November 2020, with the remaining delivery scheduled for 2024. These Apaches will take over from the MK-1 helicopters. Tata Boeing Aerospace, TBAL, work to produce the AH-64 Apache combat helicopters. Starting in June 2018, TBAL began delivering fuselages and secondary structures for the helicopters. These fuselages are manufactured at TBAL's facility in Hyderabad, India, and then transported to Boeing's AH-64 Apache manufacturing facility in Mesa, Arizona. Additionally, in March 2017, the US Army and Boeing signed a significant multi-year agreement valued at $3.5 billion for 268 AH-64E Apaches. This contract reaffirmed the US Army's commitment to the Apache program. In April 2020, the 500th Apache AH-64E helicopter was delivered to the US Army, marking a significant milestone for Boeing. Morocco also ordered 24 AH-64E helicopters in June 2020 with deliveries expected to commence in 2024. In 2022, the final five Apache AH-64Es were successfully delivered to the Indian Air Force, completing the delivery of 22 Apache AH-64E helicopters. This achievement strengthened the partnership between Boeing and the Indian Air Force. In March 2023, Boeing got granted a contract to construct 184 AH-64E Apaches, a formidable twin turboshaft attack helicopter. These helicopters are intended for use by the United States Army and international customers. Now let's explore the intriguing features of this remarkable aircraft. The Boeing AH-64 Apache is built for action, with a cockpit that's perfect for a two-man crew. It's got a fancy sensor sweep right on the nose for some top-notch target finding, even in the dead of night. And talk about firepower. It has a 30mm M230 chain gun right under the front fuselage, spitting out over 600 rounds every single minute. Loaded with over 1,000 rounds of ammo, this chopper won't run out of ammunition any time soon on the battlefield. Speaking about the AH-64D variant, it was upgraded with the AGM-114D Longbow Hellfire missile, and this is a major game changer. This missile has a millimeter wave seeker that lets it go into complete fire and forget mode and can reach targets 8 to 12 kilometers away. That's some serious standoff capability. The Apache isn't just about ground targets. It can also go toe-to-toe -to -toe in the air. It's armed with air-to-air -air missiles and also has the Advanced Precision Kill Weapon System, APKWS, or Hydra. These Hydras come with both guided and unguided 70mm rockets, so they've got options. The United States Army had made plans for the laser-guided Hydra version 
but those plans had to take a rain check during the FY 2008 budget. But the United States Army still awarded a development contract for the laser-guided hydroversion to BAE Systems back in 2006. So who knows, we might see some serious next-level stuff in the future. The AH-64 Apache's versatility is shown by its four hard points on sub-wing pylons which enable the carriage of various weapons and stores. For instance, can accommodate AGM-114 Hellfire missiles and Hydra-70 rocket pods. With such an impressive arsenal, the AH-64 Apache can effectively perform different missions, including anti-tank warfare, armed reconnaissance, and close air support in diverse environments and conditions. Boeing has plans to ensure the long-term operational viability of the Apache helicopter by implementing improvements and next-generation technologies, including modular open systems architecture. Through these efforts, Boeing aims to maintain the A864 Apache as a formidable and cutting-edge aircraft well into the 2060s. For maximum adaptability, the Longbow Apache can be customized with weapons based on mission requirements. The AH-64E version has an open system architecture to support multi-domain operations and incorporates the laser sensor, communications, navigation and weapon systems. The modernized Target Acquisition Designation System provides target information in all weather conditions and the upgraded fire control sensor enables maritime targeting. The AH-64E version 6 represents the most advanced configuration, engineered for network-centric operations and capable of operating in highly contested and complex battle environments. It integrates Link 16 communications and supports real-time streaming of unmanned aerial systems video. The V6 also boasts improved engine performance. The Apache Attack Helicopter is powered by two turboshaft engines, specifically the General Electric T700GE701D engines for the American AH-64D and the Rolls-Royce and Turbo Mecha RTM322 engines for the UK Apache. This helicopter demonstrates impressive performance capabilities, including a climb rate of 889 meters per minute, maximum and cruise speeds of 279 kilometers per hour, and 260 kilometers per hour, a ferry range of 1900 kilometers, and a service ceiling of 6,400 meters. The maximum takeoff weight is 10,433 kilos. With increasing costs for maintenance and sustainment, the Army and its allied nations face a looming burden, particularly due to the aging Apache fleet requiring more overhauls and repairs. The growing complexity and wide deployment of enemy air defenses, including electronic warfare systems, anti-aircraft guns, surface-to-air missiles and drones, makes it increasingly difficult for the Apache to survive and succeed in missions. The ever-changing operational environment and evolving demands, such as operations in urban areas, highly contested zones, or extended range scenarios, create a greater need for stealth, range, speed, and autonomy that go beyond the current capabilities of the Apache. The emerging competition from other attack helicopters or aircraft, like the Russian Mi-28N Havoc, or KA-52 Alligator, or the Chinese Z-10 or Z-20, brings the possibility of comparable or higher capabilities and performance at even lower costs and faster delivery times. And that brings us to the end of this video. Let us know if you enjoyed this video, and as always, keep exploring.